Who knows more about why cats behave in their mysterious ways than Roger Tabor? We say no one. He has devoted more than 30 years pioneering studies and observing cats in over 25 countries. He's here to share his knowledge and experience so you can enjoy the benefits that come with a better understanding of this wonderful creatures that we all call cats. Cats have the most amazing abilities and super senses. And why should that be? All this package in one small animal? Well, the reality is they are superb predators. Cats have incredible eyes. And this cat has six times better vision than I do at night. But what it has problems with is the daytime. With that degree of sensitivity, it's going to be able to control the amount of light coming in. So cutting it down to a very fine degree is needed. And that's why they go, instead of to a circle, just to a slit. OK, then. Who has the most sensitive, high-pitched hearing? Dogs or cats? It's cats every time. And if you think about it, there's a very good reason for that. Dogs, after all, go for, when they were wolves, prey of a bigger size that makes a lower sound. Cats hunt small prey that make those high-pitched squeaks. So it's important through evolution that the cat had hearing that could home in on that. And you also need to be able to hear if something's going on behind you. So having ears that swivel are incredibly important. There's a tiny little pocket right down the bottom of the ear here. And that gives the flexibility that enables the cat to fold its ears right back. And it's also part of its signaling. Because when it's angry or when it's frightened, the ears are able to fold or almost flatten down. It's part of cat communication. The sense of smell in a cat is very important. Somewhere between that sense of taste in the mouth and that sense of smell is another sense. They have to flicker with their tongue and they look as if they're concentrating inside, but really they're just trying to get those molecules in. And it enables them to tell all sorts of interesting stuff about the sexual state of another cat. That feels very rough on my finger. And the reason for that is because the cat's tongue is not as flat as ours is. It's covered all over with spiny, backwards-pointing hooks, and that enables it both to rasp food off of whatever it's eating quite easily, but at the same time to act as a comb for its coat. If you're a nocturnal hunter that climbs trees, you need to be able to feel your way about as much as to see your way about, and that's why this ring of whiskers around the face of the cat is so important and they're just wider than the width of its head. If the whiskers can go through, the head can go through. If the head can go through, the body can go through. It's in the claws that you really see the essence of the cat, because this is an animal that's an independent animal that does all the hunting by itself. So it's very good at jumping onto things, and then it has to manipulate them. These claws on these paws can do all of this sort of stuff with their prey, Cats are able to stand taller than you might expect because they walk up on their toes. And that's part of the whole kit that enables them to run very fast. And they are an explosive sprinter. These have a very flexible spine. That spine enables the whole body length of the stride to expand by a matter of some inches. One of the things that most people know about cats is if they fall from a height, they're able to land on all four paws. Have you thought how remarkable that is, to be able to do that? Because they've got ears that are not that dissimilar to us on the inside, semicircular canals that enable them to know up from down. And they've got eyes like we have that can enable them to see the horizon. But they can think about things so quickly that as they fall through the air, they can rotate their body. But the great reason, really, why cats have this facility is because they are animals that can run up and down trees and hunt up there. That's how they evolved, as these semi-arboreal, semi-tree hunters. And when you're running around in branches, you may well fall off, and having this facility to land on all four feet successfully made all the difference in their evolution.